Hey guys, it's Robin and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about something that I am absolutely dealing with and that is fear after an injury and I think um, from people I have talked to it's a huge thing, right? I've had a few messages people saying can you do a video like going out in a crowd and showing how you would manage it and I'm like no, I'm not gonna go out in a crowd with my crutches, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, so I think I think you need to find a balance and I think it's challenging. You need to find a balance between, my cat's going crazy back there. You need to find a balance between, you know, avoiding everything and also, um, you know, still doing enough so that you're, you're not going crazy because it's hard to be out of commission for weeks, right? It's now, tomorrow will be the six week anniversary of my injuries. So I've been in a crutch, on crutches and in a cast for six weeks. It's a long time. And lots of people have been, you know, in, in this situation for a lot longer. And so I'm sure their fear is even more because like the fear has to do with extending this time, right? Like it's a hard time to get through. And it's, I feel like the closer I get to the end, the more fear I have. It's like, I don't want, you know, I'm so close <laughs> to the next step and I don't want something to happen that is going to impact that, right? So, but, but I think you have to find that balance of, if, I mean, I go out and do stuff, not like every day, but I go, I do go out and do stuff. Oh, now my other cat's playing. Um, so, but it's like a controlled environment. So I'll go to my guide meetings, but I have it, there's an elevator there that I can use. So I don't have to go down this huge, you know, like almost two story flight of stairs. Um, I went out with some, some other pilot wives and we went and did some meal prep but you know it's just us there they're very um, considerate uh, I, I don't go you know I'm not gonna go like to like a concert or something like I'm not gonna go out and put myself in a situation where or I'm not gonna go to a bar where people are drinking like you know things like that just don't make sense to me I and mean, if you want to do that and you feel comfortable doing that I think that you're probably ahead of the rest of us but there is definitely a fear there and it's hard to balance that fear with activity. But I think it's really important. And honestly, before this happened to me, I wouldn't have real, I wouldn't have believed that fear was such, um, such a, an important thing or such a thing that I would deal with. Um, but I woke up last night, I had turned myself over in my sleep using my, you know, cast pushed down and I felt this like weird sensation in my, in my ankle. And I don't even know fully what the sensation was because I was asleep. It woke me up. It felt a little like tearing. I'm thinking it's just some scar tissue. But I had, and I don't, I don't know what this reaction was either, but I had like this huge adrenaline rush as soon as I realized that I had, you know, anything happening in that thing. And I think it's just fear. Um, so, you know, it's definitely something that I'm, that I am dealing with. And I, I don't know anybody who uh, has had this sort of injury who hasn't dealt with fear and there's a lot of people that I'm talking to who've had it you know like a year later they're afraid of a of a cart hitting their ankle um, and so I don't you know I don't want to be like that I I think that there's a difference between healthy fear and unhealthy fear and I do think fear can hold you back um, if it's if it's you know really extensive and it's really um, it's really limiting what you're doing. Like the idea of being scared to go out do grocery shopping. I mean, that's something as a mom of three that I need to do every week, at least once. Um, you know, I haven't been doing it obviously, but I will get back to that. And the idea of like being terrified of a cart running into me every time I'm at the grocery store, I, you know, that's something that I feel like I would need to work past. Um, but the fear is real. It's stronger than I expected it to be. <laughs> And so I'm working towards finding a balance between doing things and, and letting it heal. And I think an Achilles injury is, is a, from what I've read, it's a hard injury because it's so fragile in the beginning and it's so, like, you, you need to let it heal and you really need to protect it um, for quite a while from what I'm, what I'm reading. And so I think that fear of protecting it um, also, you know, it can lead to not progressing down the road in therapy and not knowing what, you know, what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And so I think a part of that 
is really educating yourself. So I'm going back to the doctor on Thursday for an unplanned visit. I called her this morning and explained what happened. And I think she probably thinks I'm crazy and I kind of feel like I'm crazy. But she is, um, she's gonna see me and just check it out and make sure everything is good. Um, Cause it's a little more sore this morning and I don't know why, because it hasn't really been that sore, but who knows, like it could all be, you know, part of the mental thing, right? Like our minds can, are pretty strong. It's pretty amazing what they can do. So she, I'm gonna go see her and I'm gonna ask her some more questions about, you know, how fragile is this? Because I did ask her that a week ago and she said it's really not that fragile. So she's probably thinking I'm totally crazy. Um, but it's also, you know, I think I have a strong drive to get back to where I was. And um, the idea of being set back is pretty not so fun. Um, but so I, you know, I feel like I really need clear guidelines in terms of what I can do, what I can't do, what I need to watch out for. I know it's like the, you know, dorsiflexion of your foot with force is what's going to, you know, cause a re-rupture. That much I know. So I have to be definitely careful to avoid that, even when I get the cast off. Um, but I just, I just think that I need more information and more information, like the more information you have about your injury and the real versus the perceived threats, right? And I guess there is no guarantees in life, but you know, if I act like I could re-rupture at any second and don't do anything for the next year, you know, I don't know, is that even worse than re-rupturing? I'm not sure, it's probably about the same, right? So I, I am struggling with this fear, but I'm still, I'm pushing through. And I think fear is something that so many people deal with, not just me and not just somebody with an injury. I think all of us deal with fears of all sorts of things every day. And lots of times the, you know, what we fear happening is, is not, it's not as, you know, it's not as terrible as what we think it is. And sometimes the things that we avoid doing out of fear actually is worse than, you know, the outcome that would happen if our fear came true, right? Like, let's say I were never to run again. Not that I'm a big runner, but I do like, you know, sometimes we leave late for the bus and I do like to run and have that ability to run to the bus for my kids. And it feels good to do a short sprints. Like, I like that. So what if I were to never run again because I felt like I could possibly re-rupture this, you know? What would I be missing out on for the rest of my life to never experience that feeling? So I know I need to give it time. You know, I'm not going to be running the minute I get out of the cast or anything. And hopefully everything's good with this crazy leg um, and I will get reassurance and I think that's another thing we we need when we have fear is reassurance right and sometimes we seek that on the internet and that's what I did and it didn't really work out very well because there's so much information out there that may not even apply to you and you know I can certainly find a lot of instances about people re-rupturing and not even knowing they re-ruptured not feeling any pain when they re-ruptured and not having any major event that instigated it. And is that helping me? No, that is not helping me. So sometimes the um, amount of information that we have available at our fingertips can be detrimental. So um, I'm gonna stick with um, the info from my doctor because she's the one who actually opened me up and stitched it up and has you know, years and years and years of experience in doing this. And um, I trust her, so I'm gonna stick with her you know, impression of, of how this is doing. And I'm sure, um, I'm sure my appointment on Thursday will just be reassuring for me, but I am glad to have that opportunity to, opportunity to be reassured. Part of me was like, I am being crazy and I shouldn't even call. And I should just, I have an appointment next week, next to get this cast off. And I'm sure it's probably fine. And I think 90%, I'm 90% sure it is fine, but, I guess a little bit of reassurance doesn't hurt. So I'm gonna be continuing to talk about this as I work through my fear because um, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at the level of fear I have and obviously it's gonna be an issue uh, going forward. <laughs> and um, I think everybody's a little bit scared using crutches uh, initially and, uh, and uh, you know, I know I've helped some people work through that because they've been scared to go out with crutches and, and you know, you gotta weigh the risks and the 
you know, the risks and the benefits because if I didn't use my crutches, I couldn't even get upstairs to my bed. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get out my front door. So I think that the risk of using crutches, even though, sure, there's less, although I haven't fallen on my crutches, but I did fall off my scooter, so maybe it's not that much of a risk. <laughs> no, I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> I landed in a really, a really um, full laundry basket full of clothes right on my knee, so it was, <laughs> it was good. Um, but the, you know, the, the risks of being stuck inside and not going anywhere for six weeks, like how would I even get to my medical appointments? It's not reasonable, right? And the more I use my crutches, the more secure I'm going to be on them. So the, the less likely I am of, of having an injury or wiping out on them, as long as, you know, I'm reasonable and careful, which of course I am. So um, I think, you know, there, it's easy to take your fear too far. I didn't see your exercise video, Katrina. I'm going to check that out. That's exciting. You made my day. <laughs> I need people to make my day these days. Um, so fear is definitely something that I am, I am surprised at how much I'm struggling with. Um, I didn't expect it ever turn over in bed and have the thought that I re-ruptured. Like it's a bit crazy, right? Um, but it's definitely real. I mean, not that I have re-ruptured, but the fear is real. So um, I'm gonna be doing some more investigation in terms of what I can do to get over this fear because from what I've read so far, fear can really affect your recovery Oh, thanks. You're so sweet. <laughs> fear can really, really affect your recovery, and um, it can. It actually has been shown, like to to have. You can have increased pain. You can have decreased range of motion, and all of this, and it can all be related to psychological influences. All other factors are equal. So uh, it's interesting how it can affect us. So I'm going to be on top of my fear. Hopefully, it's a struggle. <laughs> But you know, life is full of struggles and I think, I think things happen to us for a reason. And if I can learn from this, how to handle life better, then maybe it's worth it, right? And, and maybe I can help somebody else who's going through the same thing or not even the same thing, but just struggling with fear for whatever reason. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll let you know what happens on Thursday and I'm sure it's all gonna be fine. I'm sure it's all in my head. <laughs> Yeah, thanks Katrina. I think I'm going to be fine too. I think I am fine. <laughs> yeah, I think I am fine. Physically. <laughs> okay, have a great day.